Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create this color gel effect in Photoshop from scratch. This tutorial will have good insights about colors and its blending, so be sure to check it. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Click on the open and select the photo you want to edit. I will use this model photo. Click OK. We now have this photo of this model, we will give it that color gel effect to make it look awesome. Unlock this lock icon to edit this layer. Click on the foreground color and I will change it to blue. You can use whatever color you like, it's your choice. If you want to follow my tutorial step by step, then type in this color code on the color panel. Type in 0076cc. Click OK. Go to this adjustment icon and select gradient. As you see, our foreground color is being displayed, and it should be blue to transparent gradient. If you don't see this gradient, click on the menu and you can select it here. Make sure the style is in linear. Change the angle to zero. It will turn our gradient from bottom up to left right. We use the move tool to adjust the gradient by dragging it like this. Once you satisfied with its location, click OK. Go to blending mode. Change it to soft light. Press Ctrl J on your keyboard to duplicate our gradient layer. This time change the blend mode to lighten. This will work as the foundation for the gel color effect. Now again change the foreground color to place it on the right side. This time I will change it to somewhat pink color. You can change the color you like. For me I will type in C41B65. On the color code window, click OK. Again go to adjustment icon and select gradient. As you see our foreground color is in gradient state, from color to transparent. This time I will change the angle to 180 degree. Use the move tool to adjust the gradient to balance it with blue color without overlapping one another. Once you done click OK. Now we will change the blend mode to soft light like we did to our blue gradient. Again press Ctrl J to duplicate it. Change the blend mode of the duplicated layer to lighten. Now go to adjustments panel and click on the color balance. We have this three different tones. In the mid tones we will increase the red a little to give the red color a push. Increase the magenta. Do the same to blue. Increase its intensity a little. Keep changing all three midtones until you satisfied with it. After you done with midtones. Go to highlights. Do the same that we did to our midtones. Increase red, magenta and blue only a little. You can change it however you like but please make sure you don't overdo the colors, otherwise it won't look pretty well. In the shadows we will push it on the cyan to diffuse our red a little. Increase the magenta only a little. This time we will give the yellow a push, to make our blue match with our pink. That looks good. If I hide the color balance, you can see the difference of before and after. We are steadily making a good amount of progress. Now go to adjustment panel and choose the channel mixer. Here we have this red green and blue sliders, we don't need to change any of it. All you have to do is, 
click on this monochrome checkbox. Now our photo turned to grey color, don't worry we will change it into a stunning color gel effect in a second. Change the blend mode to soft light. And just like that, we now finished 90% of the color gel effect. You can see the difference between before and after. Now for our final step, go to adjustment panel and click on the selective color. In the colors, select the white. Here we have this cyan, magenta, yellow and black. All we have to do is, just balance out the colors using this four sliders for five different colors. We have to give that whiteness to the face of our model, to eliminate that overshadowed blue and pink color. Focus on our photo and slide each tone to give it the white we need. Once you done go to neutral. In neutral we can decrease the extreme color infusion on our photo. Use the slider and balance the colors to make it look more natural. Now go to blue color. Again balance it equally compared to our pink. Do the same to the magenta. You can see the overdone pink on the hair. Increase the yellow a little to diffuse the color and to blend it well. After you done all the colors, click on the black color. Black color is important for giving the shadow depth to our photo. Use it very conscious to avoid overdone. That looks amazing. We now created the color gel effect in our Photoshop. If I hide this selective color you can see the difference from before. It's completely changed and now we have that color depth feel to it. You can decrease the opacity to make it look more balanced. You can increase the intensity of the gel effect. Select the gradient that have the soft light blending. Press Ctrl J on your keyboard to duplicate it. Decrease the opacity to eliminate the banding that formed on the color. Do the same to pink gradient. Select the pink gradient that have soft light blending and press Ctrl J to duplicate it. Again decrease the opacity to balance it with the blue color. That looks super good. Now let's see the before and after one last time. Shift select all the two layers and press Ctrl G on your keyboard to group it. If I hide the group layer. As you see the difference from the raw photo and the final edited photo. It looks super awesome. We now know how to create a color depth effect in Photoshop. We are finally at the end of our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can always download all my project files on Patreon. Link is in the description. I will keep posting more amazing tutorials like this. Please look forward to it. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.